Starfe, you crazy. YouTube, let's get, get, get it. Back with another vid, YouTube. It's your boy, Big Gap. And today, I'm bringing y'all, bringing y'all some more goodies, baby. We got more goodies and we got an unboxing, fellas. Let's get right into it. First up, we got the Horizon Hobby Door Tracks. Speed treads, one eighth scale. I got the 14 millimeter and the 12 millimeter hex in here. This is for my uh, my sensing bill for my uh, 3S sensing. Change it to the street car. So here's the wheels, man. I'm gonna get one of them out. Let y'all check them out, see what they look like. And uh, towards the end of the video, I'm gonna put the wheels on and I'm gonna test fit the body, so I can, you know, you'll see a little bit of it. You'll see a, bit, a little bit of how it's gonna come out. But there they go. They look nice, man. They look nice. They look real nice. I hope they don't balloon like crazy because, you know, that 3S sensing does have some good power. So, all right, that's those. We're going to move on to the next. Get these out of the way. Ah. Uh, the part number for these, if anybody want it, is right here. Hopefully, y'all can see that pretty good. All right, there we go. It's DTXC2900. That's the part number. All right, I can go and show the body. And this is the F-150, the F-100 Touring body from Proline. Uh, part number 3514-00. That's the part number. It's the F-100 Touring body. Looks pretty good. Uh, let me show you what it looked like on the picture right here. Bam, that's it right there. F100 Touring Body. All right. Then I also have, I had to get some parts to fix my, my Traxxas, um, what is it called? The VR, the VR46, the Rally. I broke the little links or whatever these call that's in the back. So I got to replace that. That ain't really nothing. I wasn't gonna put that on the video, but I said might as well. Then we got the hatchet, Duratrax Hatchet X belted, 24 millimeter hex wheels. Um, the part number for these is DTXC5503. And uh, my good guys down at the hobby shop, man, once again, that's the hobby shop, Stop Bridge, Georgia, man. Y'all need to go check them out, man. They really look out. Uh, they went on ahead and they drilled out the hole right here so it can it can be able to fit on my DBXLE 2.0. So there's those wheels. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the box, do the quick unboxing of this right quick, and then I'll uh, show you what it looks like with the wheels on it. So let's get into it. This thing is massive. Massive, massive, massive. There she goes, looking all good in her glory. As y'all know, this is the DX2E radio. Uh, I've been having a problem with my Spectrum Smart receivers on two of my cars, on my BAK, my uh, my Creighton 8S, and my uh, DB Pro. I had to send back both of the receivers and get new ones because they were, both had issues. Uh, so. We'll see, but there it is, DX2E. DX2E radio. And here she goes. Let's get this guy out of the box. I'm gonna try to get y'all down off the stand in one second, fellas. It's just a little bit harder with a car that's big. All right, then, yeah. let's see what's in this. In this little goodie box to see if there's anything else. All right, we got some tools, something to take off the wheel with. I really needed one of those. Yeah, for the 24 millimeter. We got a couple of Allen keys in there. Those always come in handy. Never can go wrong with too many Allen keys, if you ask me, if you're in the RC world. 
And here goes the books. Come with a few Spectrum stickers. Spectrum Smart stickers in the manual. Back in the box. All right, let's get this big boy out of here. Really, really, really big. I have to find somewhere for it to go. All right, here she goes, fellas. In all her glory. Man. She, hey, man, look. The, the video does no justice. I mean, the videos, man. You have to see this thing in person. It is absolutely gorgeous. Let me get y'all down out the stand. It's absolutely gorgeous, fellas absolutely gorgeous the paint has like these little flakes in it that it's hard to come up on the camera but see it in person man it's it's awesome i like the little overspray the little splatter that looks pretty good fellas I'm missing a body clip where's my other body clip at i ain't worried small things to a giant i got plenty of them let's get this body clip off get up under the check up under the hood show y'all what's up under the hood and then we gonna in the video so here it goes as you see it has the led light going across right there light bar going across right there i know my lighting ain't the best man but this is a big car to unbox if i could have unboxed it on my table if my table was big enough like unbox it up there and you you the light the light up be a little bit better but i had to do it on the floor because of the size of it all right let's look up under here Payal. Looks good, fellas. There goes the ESC. It's 160 amp ESC. It is a 1780 kV motor. So you got a 1780 kV motor and 160 amp ESC. There goes your servo. Your servo, you actually can move it over to one side and run two servos. I'm thinking about trying that if the car doesn't turn well. Um, I know a lot of people have been having issues with the turning on this car. But I'm hoping mine don't. But if I have to run two servos, then that's what I'll do. But hopefully I'll only have to run that one because that one is huge and look very, very beefy. So, yep, there she goes, man. In all her glory. Looking good. Looking good, fellas. So what I want y'all to do, just give me a give me a second, fellas. I'll be right back with you. I'm gonna go ahead and get those hatchet tires on there. We're gonna see. What she looked like with the hatchet tires. Give me one second. Also, fellas, before I put the last tire on, I want to show y'all the size difference in it. Uh, as you can see right there, it's probably about an inch, almost a whole inch wider and taller. It's probably about almost a half an inch, a quarter, I say a quarter of an inch taller. So it does make the truck stand up a little bit higher. So it is slightly taller and it's definitely wider. When you look at the width, it's a big difference in the width. Uh, it's a big difference in the width of the tires. All right, so I'm almost finished. Give me one second, fellas. All right, fellas, there she goes. Looking like a boss, fellas. Looking like a straight boss. Gotta get some good lighting on it. Ooh. Hat, Dura Tracks Hatchet X. Yes, yes, sir. That thing looks good, fellas. She looks good. I can't wait to get her out, man. Hopefully, I can get her out tomorrow. It's, the rain's supposed to stop tonight, so it's supposed to dry up tomorrow. So, hopefully, I can get it out tomorrow, man, and get a good rip with it. But she's a beauty. She's definitely a beauty with those wheels. It makes her look way more aggressive. Way more aggressive. I should have did a before shot, but it's too late now, but showing you the width because it gives it a much wider stance so all right fellas there she goes in all her glory i appreciate y'all sticking around watching the video don't forget to like comment subscribe dislike whatever you like youtube and i'm in it <laughs>